Hey guys, it's History Behind the Warrior and welcome to a new update video. This is one I've been wanting to do for a while so I do have a considerable amount of stuff I do wish to speak about. So today I'm going to be talking about what exactly is going on with MK on the channel, how has demonetization affected it because it's actually affected a handful of channels, in what direction is the channel going from this point onwards and what exactly is going on with me outside of what's going on here because I haven't been uploading as much as I usually do and I will explain that in a Bit. Now first off, what's going on here? What's going on with Mortal Kombat 11? What's going on with the demonetization? Well first off, I'm rather pleased to say that demonetization hasn't really been too too bad over here. I'm not going to deny it has most definitely been a nuisance because if any of you follow me on Twitter you would have seen that I got like 35 copyright claims that day. I know right? Joy. So it definitely has been very much so hit or miss at this end but I will still be covering Mortal Kombat content despite that. I enjoy the series far too much to just kind of like just drop it off the spot so don't worry you guys are still going to be getting a lot of Mortal Kombat content and with the combat pack seemingly next week I will have quite a lot to talk about there so yes I do want to reiterate that point Mortal Kombat is still going to be going on at this end probably till the end of this year and so on and so forth as you guys know I like the series and I'm more than happy to talk about it but since we're on the topic of series let's talk about an idea I do have in my mind and I feel like I should definitely pursue it now, with demonetization being a huge, massive thing with Mortal Kombat right now, I can absolutely not deny that I have been looking at other game franchises that I do enjoy outside of fighting games, and I have most definitely considered to actually cover them. Two that are currently in my crosshairs are the Borderlands series, and Doom Eternal that is coming up. I'm a massive fan of both of those franchises, so depending on your reception here, I may end up doing history of videos on them. Now, I am going to say this because some of you may take it out of context or might even lose your minds over it, but no, I will never ever stop covering fighting games on this channel. But again, YouTube climate is definitely an issue here. And the truth is, if you put yourself in like the fighting game genre, you kind of box what you can actually do because it is a very niche genre in the gaming market and of course I do have other games I enjoy however like I said I don't want to just kind of go straight through with it if you guys aren't interested I want to get your reception here about whether or not I should be tackling different series but again I know there's some people that are going to overreact to this but I will still be doing fighting games in this channel and I still will be doing the history ofs on the characters from those fighting games. So really if I'm honest the only difference is that you'll just be getting more content but you will be getting more variety and for some that's a yay and for some that's a no. So like I said I do want to hear what you guys have to say because I don't want to be filling up your sub boxes with crap that you know you don't want to see. Now I want to come over to my next point here, which is actually far more on a positive note. Yes, I will be going to EVO next weekend. Yes, I will be playing in Mortal Kombat 11, but I also have some other news and that is actually what's going on tomorrow. You see, outside of me making the content on YouTube, I've actually been taking up a side job of doing commentary at tournaments. This has been at Hyper Combo Leicester, last week's verse fighting for a bit, and East London Fighters. So I'm very happy to confirm here that I will be on the commentary desk actually tomorrow at another East London Fighters event. This will be called Revolver and it will feature Tekken 7, Samurai Showdown, Mortal Kombat and Soul Calibur 6. When the stream is live I will be posting a video for it tomorrow with the link for the Twitch channel in the description below so if you do click it it will send you over so you can watch me on commentary with my amazing friend Falcon if you want some extra content on the side. Plus I'd really appreciate you guys if you could help support this tournament. We want to get as many people in as possible and I would really really adore your support. So again a video will be going up for that tomorrow. Now onto my final discussion, what exactly has been going on with the content of the channel? Well I'm not going to lie, there's been a mixture of reasons as to why content has been so sparse on the channel since Mortal Kombat 11's release. One of them definitely has to be demonetization. Demonetization has actually affected me wanting to cover the game as well as play it. The issue is I like playing the game but when it's constantly being demonetized and you're a content creator, it's hard to not feel rather demotivated when it comes to making videos. Honestly, I haven't really played the game properly in two weeks because I'm rather depressed when I do play it. Now the channel isn't in a bad place, as I did say earlier, but I can't deny it's very demotivating to see the amount of time and work I put into one of these videos, only for YouTube to say, oh, it's Mortal Kombat, better slap it with a content restriction. It's so incredibly shit. Oh no, I swore YouTube overlords. Oh. You get my point, it's, it's not fun to deal with, and it actually prevents a lot of my videos from entering other people's recommended sections. So not only do I supposedly lose out on revenue, but the reach of my channel actually gets smaller because of it. Hence why, 
been considering other content. And of course, outside of that, I've been doing tournaments and actually I've been looking after myself a lot more because as much as I like sitting in my butt every single day eating absurd amount of crap this year it's honestly important for me to put my health first and honestly my well-being first that's why there has not been as much content because coming to my YouTube dashboard is extremely depressing and you know it's really twisted when I can go to the gym for about two or three hours and find that far more satisfying than I actually do like recording a video. Just to give you an idea of how things are at this end. Of course this isn't the end of the channel as I do want to get back into a regular schedule post Evo but right now it's kind of sucky for me. Plus NRS hasn't really been giving us any information outside of the stuff they post on Twitter and I'll be honest with you I do not feel like one image is worth a 10 minute video. As much as I'd like the idea of extra ad revenue I don't feel like there's enough substance there for me to really work work with. So I do apologize for videos being kind of sparse, but I feel like if I'm going to give you guys a video, I want to make sure it's a video I'm proud of and one that I'm happy to give you guys. So again, I'm very sorry that like content has not been coming out on a regular basis, but I like to feel that when I make my content, I'm happy with it and I don't see the desire or need to make any clickbait rubbish or garbage and just chuck it out there like 10 minutes plus. That's not why you come to this channel. You come for the history of series or interesting ideas, concepts slash theories of what exactly is going on with the universe. Cause that's always quite fun to talk about. And I feel like when I come up with ideas, they're fresh and add something to the conversation. But yeah, that's everything I did want to say in this video. So post Evo content will be going back to a regular. I may start covering and doing history of on games that are outside of the fighting game franchise. Nothing set in stone just yet, don't you worry. And free, please, please, please do check out Revolver tomorrow. I'd really appreciate it. And I'm super excited to be in commentary for it because there are gonna be some fantastic plays players on display. Plus you can watch me get extremely hype on commentary. But yeah guys, that's actually it for this video. Sorry it's been rather boring and rather long, but I feel like this was definitely worth talking about what exactly is going on with the channel and what exactly is going on with me at this end. Because for the most part, I am just a voice with a microphone in hand. But yeah guys, that's it for now. Again, more content on Horizon and I'll see you then. Please take care.